What's going on, everybody? And welcome to another episode of the Other Side of the Firewall podcast, where we talk about the latest and greatest in cybersecurity news, as well as we highlight those movers and shakers and glass ceiling breakers, those people of color who've made it to the other side of the proverbial firewall. My name is Ryan Williams, and as always, I'm joined by Shannon Times. What's up, what's up? And typically, LeVon Maynard. However, he's on holiday, so you'll see him come this new year. Uh, speaking of this new year, so uh, we're going on holiday break ourselves. Uh, th this week should get you to Christmas Eve, and then you will not see a new episode from us until January 10th. So that'd be the first week we are back uh, with our Monday through Friday schedule. Monday and Tuesday are our topics. Wednesday is discussion. This week is a, a special one. We have Ms. Aisha Hollins on um, to talk about uh, Meta and uh, some of the um, privacy and security settings they're setting up for uh, children and their parents. Uh, and then Thursday is typically Ask Us SP. We don't have one this week, but look for us to uh, come to the new year. And then on Fridays, we talk about everything else. So that's what this is. So this is our Friday episode where we discuss everything but cyber, all right? So if you're tuning in for the cybersecurity, hit us up throughout the week. Um, this one is just, we, we, we wind down. We call it the weekly rundown. Um, and we talk about movies, TV shows, all that good stuff. So uh, very rarely I talk about studying for something. <laughs> But with that being said, how is your week going, Jen? Man, you know what? No complaints. Um, I actually, Star Trek Discovery, man, I'm all caught up. Hey. On that, right? I'm all okay. caught up. Okay, okay. That. Good. Um, that's a good one. Um, it seems like, I'm in the fourth season now. It seems like it's slowing down with the action a little bit, but um, they'll probably ramp it up coming up near the end. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, because it's, it's yeah, at that, the end of that third one, yeah, it was nothing but action. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, no, it's it's gonna be it it's it's going to something. So we'll we'll see. Okay. New new villain every season. Um, watched Hawkeye this week. Um, I I gotta be honest, like the action seems to be slowing down some. But uh, yeah. they they had a re they had a reveal at the end of the episode this week that I already saw coming a couple episodes ago. Right? Yeah, I yeah. Kinda figured it out and was like, okay, I know who this is gonna be, and they just confirmed it, right? So yeah. Um, but. Yeah, Hawkeye. Um, so we only got like one more episode of that. Um, what else did I watch this week? Uh, what else did I take in? Nothing much, really. After that, yeah, it was kind of, it's kind of it. it was those okay? Things. Yeah. What about you, man? I know you had, I know you had a full slate there. Oh yeah, you know, I get it in. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I find time to watch these shows. Um, I need to start uh, Star Trek Discovery, the the current season. I have not done that yet. I was trying to wait for a few episodes to drop before I got into it because I, I like to marathon my shows. Um, I need to finish Picard. I slowed down on that one because um, season two, I don't know when it's coming out, to be honest with you. Uh, I know. February. It's February? Yeah, so I, I might not actually jump back into that one because sometimes I get, like what I'm finding out from Netflix is if a, a show doesn't come out like around a year time frame, I will forget pieces. So as opposed to me watching the show twice, which it would be fine. Um, I typically not now I'm just like, you know what? I won't crush it. I say that, but then like true story, I crushed that one this, this past week, but that, that's the limited series, right? It, it's not going to get a sequel, um, to my knowledge. Um, but yeah, so I, I, uh, I watched true story. I really enjoyed it. Um, it, it's something, there's this weird cognitive dissonance I have with it where it puts me on the edge of my seat because it makes me feel uncomfortable because it, it mirrors Kevin Hart's life so much, it feels like I'm watching him do bad stuff. <laughs> it's weird. It's very strange. Uh, like, check it out, first episode, you're just like, is this a documentary? And then it goes left, and you're just like, for me, I was like, no, don't, don't do it, Kev. <laughs> don't, don't do that. It just keeps getting worse and worse and worse, but I, I, uh, I, I think it was really good acting. Like, Kevin Hart, I think, does a uh, a phenomenal job as the lead. Uh, Wesley Snipes uh, plays his brother. Uh, I always enjoy Wesley Snipes' flick, regardless. I think he does a good job, job with this one. Very relatable character, in, in my opinion. And then it's his team around him and just all this crazy stuff. Like, think think Breaking Bad or Ozark if it starred Kevin Hart. That's basically the show. And I, I it had me, it had me, like, I, uh, my wife didn't, she wasn't feeling it. I told her to, I, like she couldn't like the first episode she was like no nah, I'm good I'm like no you got to watch the second one 
<laughs> so you gotta watch the second one. <laughs> so she out there, she I out there where I'm it. where I'm at with you. <laughs> yeah. Like, she was like, know. she watched the first one. She was like, nah, I could pass. I was like, no, 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 no. Watch the second one. I'm telling you, like the first episode, uh it it threw a curveball at me, but then the second one, I was just like, oh, okay, I see where this is going. Because, um, like I said, it felt like a documentary. Like, I'm like, I'm going to watch Kevin Hart's life. And then, like, something happens, she's like, <laughs> no, don't do it. <laughs> but uh, I thoroughly enjoyed that one. Um, I watched uh, Finch. I think it's Finch. Um, the Tom Hanks. It is the Tom Hanks movie on Apple Plus. Uh, think if Wally and Castaway had a baby starring Tom Hanks. Can't go wrong. So <laughs> um, I, I definitely enjoyed that one. Um, I watched something else. Oh, obviously I watched. So no, no spoilers. I I will only say I watched the movie Spider Man No Way Home, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. So if you're if you're listening to this and it has not been spoiled for you uh, yet, cut off the internet. Go see the movie. <laughs> <laughs> the internet will ruin this one for you. I went in completely blind. I saw it on uh, premiere, and I I literally blacked out. I the internet for a week. The only thing I got on was LinkedIn because I was like, if they spoil it on LinkedIn, they they're going out their way to spoil it, and no one spoiled it on LinkedIn um, because it's not what LinkedIn is for. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I stayed off of the internet. I stopped watching all my YouTube channels that do the speculations because I didn't want them to somehow guess what was going to happen. And I um, definitely cut off Twitter. Twitter will, will ruin everything. Um, I went into it completely blind and then we were just hooping and hollering in the theater. Like <laughs> we kept getting like it's funny, like you would you would cheer for something, but then you you know to be immediately quiet because there's dialogue, but people would continue to cheer and then they would get <laughs> they would get shushed. <laughs> but it 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 was definitely watch it was definitely worth watching the theater because of everybody's reactions. You know what I mean? Like you get that energy. So I, I enjoyed it. So no, no more talk about it. Like just go see it. It is worth it. Um, I didn't play any games and I'm going to um, download, hopefully, I don't know if Apple lets you do this. I think they let you watch offline. Um, I'm going to, if I can, watch offline. It's called Swan Song. It's a um, Apple TV movie that dropped yesterday uh, starring Mahershala, Mahershala Ali. Uh, it's a sci-fi joint and it seems like it it mirrors, no pun intended, um, a Black Mirror episode starring Anthony Mackie, where basically, um, and this is all in the trailer, but the, the, it's called Swan Song because the, the person is, is going to pass away and uh, they're in the future where you're able to make a copy of yourself. Um, so the, the person um, in the Black Mirror episode, you have to interact with it though, so it can learn all your mannerisms because it looks like you, but it's not you, right? So it has your memories, but you have to interact with it so it can pick up on the little nuances. And then it goes into your life so that way your family doesn't have to miss you. Obviously, your family doesn't know this, though. So, uh, but that's, that's going to be the premise of this movie. But you can see how that's going to, there's some, some it's, that's heavy, <laughs> especially if you know you're about to die. So uh, I, I like Mahershal Ali. I think he does a phenomenal job acting and what have you. He'd be uh, the new blade and what have you. But uh, watching the trailer, it looks like it's going to give you all the feels. <laughs> like, like I don't, I don't, I don't cry because I lost my tear ducts in the war. But <laughs> <laughs> I may, I may get, may get that tingling sensation in, in the eyeballs because uh, it looks, it looks like it's going to be very sad. So I'm like, okay, I'm down for it. I'm down for it. So that's my plans to watch that on the plane. And then whatever plane movies they have, I watch those too. Okay. All right. You, yeah. you were talking about that. You kind of reminded me. I don't know why it reminded me. I did start watching uh, Lost in Space today. I don't know. If oh, okay. I don't know if I'm feeling it, man. So yeah. it, it takes a while. Like it's only going to be, I think this season, the third season is going to be the last season. I watched it with my daughter. Um, it takes a while. Like, um, to really pick up so because I, I wanted to marathon it but uh like my, my daughter likes to watch one episode at a time so it did take a while but I, I think if you lean forward a little bit it picks up episode three maybe three or four oh, you, you had to say that yeah. I watched the yeah. first two and I was like all right I think I'm done 
I was like, you already got the robot showing, but he ain't doing nothing. I'm like, what's going on? Right, right. You have to get you have to get past that point. Because it's, it's a different take on it, right? Like when we watched the kid, watched it as kids uh, in reruns, right? Because we, we're not that old. But yeah. um, they brought the robot and their job was to be in space. And obviously they're lost in space and all that stuff. Like this one has a little bit of a different take on it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it takes a little while to get into it. But I, I, I'm looking forward to watching the third season when I get home. Um, to see how it all wraps up. Um, I can't remember the name of, because it's obviously the family, right? So you have you have Will. Um, Robinsons. The Robinsons. Robinsons, yeah. But I forget what the, the dad's name is in real life, the actor, but I think I thought he did a good job. Uh, obviously the, the mom, I think, I think it's, as the seasons go on, the focus shifts to different characters. But the first season, um, they really spotlight or highlight the uh, the parents, and then um, not to to give you spoilers or whatnot. But then it, it starts to to shift to different members of the family, um, just from their perspective or whatnot. So it, they always keep it interesting. Then obviously you got the MacGyver effect, right? Because they're all scientists, so they they gonna figure it out. But there's a couple episodes I was like, they they ain't gonna figure that one out. <laughs> That's it's a wrap. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I know that I know they they picked up Dr. Smith though, so like she just got brought in. So I'm like, okay, hey, how's this gonna play out? Because you know what's going on where. Well, she right out, like four years ago, so I'm I'm gonna say it, but like she's not who she appears to be, right? So right, um, right. I'm curious how that's gonna play out. Like, who's gonna figure that out? Because there's some people she left too. You know what I mean? So yeah, if they make their way there, they're gonna be like, hey, I know what you did. I'm gonna tell everybody what you did. <laughs> you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, no, it's, it's good though. It's it, I, I think it's a, a, a good series, but if you're looking for nonstop action, you're not gonna get it. A lot of it is it's it's more it's more like the older Star Trek, to be honest with you. Or it's it's more about like these little vignettes, kind of. Um, but there is a, a bigger uh story arc. So I liked it. I'm not I'm not gonna it's not I'm not gonna die on this this hill, this one. <laughs> if you drop this one because i'd still i have i have limited bullets left in the chamber to get you to watch shows <laughs> this is true this is true so this, that's not the hill i die on but look look because i got i got i got true story queued up but then i hear that your wife is like nah i don't know Jeez, i'm like i'm nah, telling you, you gotta get past right. that first episode you gotta get past that first episode i'm gonna give it two i like to give three but like with this with lost in space i'm kind of like i don't know man <laughs> right i make it that far because I, I think right, but with true I was gonna say, well, true story though. Like, if you if you enjoyed like the the Breaking Bad, I have not watched Ozark yet, but I, I hear Ozark is really good as well. But just those those stories where the person is going one way and it just completely goes left. Like, I think you'll enjoy this one, and it's limited, right? So you only got to watch eight episodes. Yeah, <laughs> but but I haven't watched either one of those series. I have not watched Breaking Bad, and I have not watched Ozark. Oh so. man, Break, Breaking Bad is worth it. I'm telling you. Everybody says that. Break, Breaking Bad is worth it. Um, Everybody says that. I'm, I don't know. I'm just. Yeah. Like, if it hasn't been spoiled for you, like it's been years, right? But if it hasn't been spoiled for you, I think I think it's it's worth it. There, you know, it, not every episode is going to be going to be a, a hit, but um, just the overall arc and then the little arcs in between it keeps you going. Like that's a good series. I, I've not watched Ozark, but I, I hear it's along the same vein. I, so, I don't know. I might have to take your word on that one. I don't know if I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna watch it. You know, I like I and that's the thing is that I've heard people talk about, you know, breaking bad and how it ends and whatnot. And then you, you even have a spinoff because they did a Better Call Saul. Oh, Better Call Saul, yeah. I never watched that one though. Yeah, okay. So because I I I like the I like Breaking Bad so so much I didn't want to ruin it. Okay. Like this is uh, this needs to be by itself. <laughs> but I hear good things. I hear good things about Better Call Saul. Um, but um, going back to uh, Hawkeye, like I, I like where that show's going. They already have a spinoff coming. So uh, Echo, Echo is uh, the um, the one character. She's getting her own show. So you can you can tell that Disney is not beholden to having another season of a show. Like you may get a Hawkeye too, but we already have something planned with characters to pull them into um, a different a different show of their own. So I I, I really like that. Um, and, uh, I, and I can see that. So the, the last yeah. episode they had this week, I can see that because of information that was given to her. I can yeah. see her kind of changing and going a different way and, and making a series out of that. 
Yeah. Yeah. And you could just bring characters that worked into that one. You know what I mean? Like you're, I think having, having to have a season two of a show uh, kind of puts you in a box. I'm cool. Like, like, like I like my anime. I like one season, maybe two. You know what I mean? Like I'm not like DBZ was, you know, my, one of my entry gateways into anime, but I'm not watching you for 10 seasons. And now they got 10 more seasons coming out. I'm just, meh. <laughs> It's not 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 for me, right? But like Cowboy Bebop, you give me a stellar one one season, twenty six episodes. I'm I'm good. It's a classic. Keep that forever. Not the show though. Apparently canceled. Yeah. <laughs> Less than thirty days. Yeah. Yeah. The internet spoke. They were like, "You will make no more of these." And Netflix is like, "You right." <laughs> <laughs> but I I thought it was good. Um, yeah, obviously it can't live up to the anime, but like n- nothing can. The same thing goes with movies that, that come from books. I've not watched one movie where it was better than the book. Not yet. Has not happened. So. Really? Like, nah. I was, I'm not, and, and, and not to say, I'm, like, I'm not the most uh, read individual, right? Like I, I've not read a thousand books or what have you, but anytime I see a movie that interests me, I see a trailer and I'm just like, oh, that's based on a, a book, not a series. You ain't gonna get me for a whole series. It's not gonna happen. But if it's based on a book, I will go read that book. And then when I watch the movie, I'm like, well, they did it. It's a good adaption. But you just, you can't, you can't replicate 16 to 20 hours of content in two and a half hours. It's just not possible. Yeah. Like, you you have to make cuts. Exactly. The book is going to have so much more detail, right? Yeah. The book is going to go into so many more things that it's just like, wow, there's no way you, you might not even be able to capture that in a movie, you know? Right. Unless you have right, something exactly. that maybe has a narrator and then the narrator is describing things to you or whatever, because that's kind of, that's kind of what I get when I read like some of these books, you know what I mean? Like, a, and I don't read a lot of fiction, right? Not, hardly any anymore. Right. But yeah. I would, I would think I would have to have a narrator for something for it to play out like it does in the book. And, and you're right. Cause it is, you're probably dead on with your assessment of about 16 hours. You know what I mean? Yeah but it would need to be a TV series or something like that for a lot of these books. Right, exactly. And Hollywood is yeah. going to Hollywood it up. Like their adaptation, they're going to add stuff, remove stuff, you know, uh, change yeah. it. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, like I, I Am Legends based on a, a short story and um, I read it because I was like, I can, I can get that in real quick before it, the movie drops, right? And Will Smith doesn't drop duds. Well, Wild Wild West. But <laughs> 99.9% of Will Smith movies uh, hit Hit, hit the mark um and it was good but i think i i ruined the movie because i read the book first and it, they, they diverged so much that at the end of the day it's a good story and will smith did an excellent job with uh with the cast and all that good stuff but the there's even the short story was better than the movie and that's so pursuit, like maybe three four hours pursuit of happiness was like that so like i read the book pursuit of happiness before he did the movie yeah um and there was a lot of divergence there you know and stuff that was you know because the book is autobiographical it's from i'm trying to remember the guy's name gardner was his last name Uh, i can't remember his name right now though it's escaping me but yeah like it's the book is autobiographical and then when you see the movie it's just kind of like ah well they diverged here they diverged here they diverged here right so yeah yeah and the same thing for games so uh like witcher like season two just dropped i'm probably going to try to get that in as well i i'm i'm my memory is not serving me well for season one because it wasn't in chronological order it's one of those shows that tarantino did up so things are happening out of sequence and uh what have you which i don't mind but when it comes to memory because it's not it didn't happen in chronological order like when i watch this season i'm probably gonna be thrown off a lot I'm like, what the hell is happening <laughs> with these people? Um, but I, obviously the, the game is hundreds of hours of gameplay, right? And you're not gonna be able to capture that. And I, I think the show is great. So I'm glad I didn't play the game. <laughs> so, um, Cause it, it would ruin it for me. Oh, that's the other thing I watched. The Expanse just started back up. So the final season of Expanse uh, on Amazon Prime dropped. Uh, and I, that show is a great science fiction show. First season, very slow. Like it goes into politics and world building and, you know, et cetera. And it really picks up at the end of season one into season two. So if you dropped in season one, I'm sorry, you have to, if you do want to get back into it, you got to watch all of it. Um, and it, it takes a while to, to hit its stride, but I hear the books are amazing. So I'm just like, you know what? I'm glad I didn't jump into that series. 
of books because it, it might have ruined the series for me. So now I'm curious. I, I, I'm curious now. So like how many episodes do you give something before you give up, right? Because you're, you're sitting here and you're saying it's, it's slow in the first season, yeah. right? So I'm guessing eight so, episodes. So gonna... yeah, I think, it's, I think it's eight to 10. But no, so th in this case, I jumped on The Expanse late. I jumped on The Expanse when it got canceled. So uh, it originally was on Sci-Fi and everybody was talking it up and Sci-Fi was like, nope, not getting another season of this. Um, I picked it up when uh, Amazon, was it Amazon or was it Netflix? Ne Netflix picked it up. So Netflix picked it up for a second season. I was like, oh, it must be good if Netflix picked it up, right? Because it, it, of a canceled show. So I was like, okay, I'll jump on it. So I had to watch season one to get to the Netflix season. Uh, so I was like, you know, I'll give it a shot. They pick it up. So typically I don't, I don't go that far. Like if you, if you don't get me in the first half of the season, I'm like, all right, I'm, I'm not messing with you. But I wanted to get to season two because everybody was talking season two up so much. And I'm glad I did. But then Netflix dropped it. Which, and I was like, oh, because I, I, I hate when a show gets canceled and I'm, I'm invested in it. <laughs> That's why, that's why I dropped all the uh, Marvel Netflix shows before they finished their season threes. Cause I was like, nope, not messing with it. But I'll, I'll circle back to that. Um, but then it got picked up by um, Amazon. Yeah. So the show show got canceled by Sci-Fi, got canceled by Netflix, and then Amazon picked it up. So I was like, it's got to be good, and it, it actually is. Uh, why those uh, Netflix will cancel something because they feel like it, but. Why sci-fi dropped it, I don't know. Like if they had held on, maybe it was the budget because the budget does explode as it, as it traverses networks. Like when it's on sci-fi, that first season was, was good. But like now you can tell they, they, they put money, money, money into it. So, um, but this is the final season. Um, so I'm definitely gonna keep watching that one. But um, with the Netflix shows, I'm gonna go back for Marvel. I'm gonna go back and finish uh, daredevil jessica jones and punisher um because some of that material may um make it into the disney plus shows so so like I'll the, the, the rights finally expired and so now they're picking up characters and, and things of that nature gotcha gotcha I, i'll finish daredevil so i didn't get to watch season three of daredevil that one i'll finish because i like that one jessica jones yeah. i i Man, it started another, to peter off another ryan suggestion and i was just like ah, that first it, season was good man with the, the purple not. man or whatever he was called it was not did you finish it i did i i did and not, you like it i did not like it oh yeah. man it was a thriller yeah um, <laughs> yeah um but did, did you not like did you not like the actress that played jessica jones i heard a lot of people did not like her so i was not a fan of her but i was just not a fan of the story either right like just uh, around, okay walking around being a drunk that has to be a hero like like hancock hancock did it in two and a half hours you know what i mean like, yeah, I, don't, I, don't, yeah. I don't need you to do it in eight episodes you know what i'm saying but that like, that is that is the comic raging alcoholic detective yeah, <laughs> with I, super I strength <laughs> it just it, it didn't do it for me so when the second one came out i didn't watch it um I never watched Iron Fist. I could tell from the trailer I wasn't gonna like that. Oof. I was just like, yeah, it, and as it's been confirmed, like if you don't like it, I'm definitely not gonna like it. <laughs> I know that already. I know that already. What's What's crazy is because uh, did it only have one season? I think it only had one season, and then they went into the Defenders, uh, okay. which was not great. Um, but um, the side characters in Iron Fist were good. I hope they ca I hope they save those people <laughs> and pull them in to um to disney plus um because you had uh, rosario dawson she was in it she was also in luke cage so she rosario dawson spanned all of them she was kind of like all the, of them yeah the iron man of the yeah. uh the netflix mcu um so she did a phenomenal job uh but it was i can't remember her name but it's the female lead she ran the dojo um she is in the matrix movie that's about to drop so matrix four the um the female with the 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 shades and the blue hair, like the short blue hair, uh, she's in she's in the trailers. But she was um, the female, um, not not lead, but close to lead in Iron Fist. They tried to get her to be in um, Shang Chi, but it conflicted with her Matrix schedule. So there there may be plans to bring her in anyway. Um, Who was she going to be in Shang Chi? Was she going to be Aqua? What Aquafina was like his friend or? No, she was gonna. Uh, oh man, and she she said 
like she's not old enough to be the aunt. She was going to be somebody that may or may not have been fleshed out as a character um, to kind of integrate her uh, into the MCU. But I'd rather she she be cast back into her role from the the Netflix MCU, bring her into um, Disney Plus. To be honest with you. Uh, or into the movies, like because the, the, there's no line anymore, right? Like you're seeing characters in the Disney Plus uh, shows that are from the, you know, the, the uh, cinematic universe MCU. Like there's no distinction anymore. Yeah, Disney, um, oh, yeah. yeah it's, it's completely blended. Like you'll, you'll see, like there was the intro to this, this Hawkeye was uh, uh, not a sequel, but directly ties into uh the black widow movie right so like the black uh, widow movie ends and then you watch hawkeye and it kind of picks up from the way that movie ended did it yeah where they they're they're um trying to give a person some serum to um to de to to remove their programming because i want to give away too much if somebody hasn't watched the, the hawkeye episode but in black widow there's um the oh, you overall the arc okay I thought you were talking about the yeah. first se- the first episode. I was like, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Yeah, no, yeah. No, the the right. latest episode t- ties yeah. directly into Black Widow. Like there, there is no distinction between the Disney Plus series and the MCU um, cinematic universe. Like there, there's no there's no lines. <laughs> they'll pull anybody from any direction they want to, and it's amazing. Uh, that's what they tried to do with Agents of Shield. It it just didn't work out because, like, they weren't. You know what I mean? Like, not to say it's not the they weren't all owned by kevin feige like now he has free reign he can make anything happen anywhere he wants to as opposed to having to work with uh what was it nbc or abc at the time like he had to work with um because they're still owned by disney but agents of shield it's abc isn't it abc yes yeah. so as opposed to having to work with abc to try to make things tie in and uh contracts and whatnot he's just like i do what i want <laughs> this is this is all marvel all the time so it, it's amazing so I, I hope they keep it up um, cause there's some, like they're already talking about rumors of who, rumors of who's going to be in She-Hawk. Like they're going to have some crossovers in there as well. Mm. So. Well, I just don't, okay. I don't, I don't think Disney is going to start putting anything on ABC anyway. Right. Cause ABC is the parent company of Disney. Right. Or vice versa. Right. But they said that they, the issues they had with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Cause it's still not been confirmed to be canon or not was, mm-hmm. uh, contractual issues. Like once Colson, uh, hit the small screen, they couldn't pull them back into the MCU. Like it's oh, some weird. But they're not even going to do it anymore. I, I, don't, I don't even think they're going to put them on ABC anymore because they have. No, the no, they're not. Yeah, yeah, they're not because yeah. they have the streaming service. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like they just they, like the only the only major tie-ins were um, Captain America: The Winter Soldier. Like that had an uh, actual tie-in to Agents of Shield. But aside from that, it was very loose connections at best. Uh, yeah. But now you'll see you'll see something on on a Disney Plus show that ties directly to a movie and vice versa. Like you'll see the big screen on the small screen. You just like whoa, and and again they're not beholden. Like I don't think there's going to be a one division two because they have um, the house of, the house of Harkness. Uh, Agatha, Agatha is getting her own spinoff, right? So they don't have to do a one division two. Like she's she's getting her own TV show. They don't have to do um, a Hawkeye two if they don't want to because now Echo is uh, the, the spinoff of that. Like they can just keep branching off to these other characters, and those characters can make it into the movies. Potentially. So I think it's awesome. Yeah, they they they've definitely left the they've left the door open for them to make trillions in the future with a T. <laughs> like yeah. they they really have. Yeah. Like uh, I'll, I've said it numerous times, and I'll say it again. Like this whole with the multiverse and everything, you just leave it open to do whatever you need to do and whatever you can do. Yeah. You know, the only the only weirdness now is the Sony uh, Spider Man universe because they Sony still owns characters that may or may not cross over, but they have so far. Like if you watch the Morbius trailer, you see the Vulture in it. So still weird though, but it happens. Or um, uh, there was another one. So. But I can't talk about it. <laughs> yeah. but, but but don't they have a deal with Sony though? Like Marvel Studios and Sony made a deal. That's what, that's why we started yeah, seeing so, Spider-Man in the first place with Tom Holland. Yes. So uh, my understanding is if it's a Spider-Man specific movie, so uh, uh, Far From Home or No Way From Home, that the majority of the money and profits go to Sony. 
if it's Avengers tie-in, the majority of the money goes to uh, Marvel. Uh, Marvel. Okay. And then they have some crosstalk between. Because remember, they at one point they couldn't they couldn't um, come to an agreement, so they were like, okay, that was the last Tom Holland Spider-Man uh, appearance. Uh, and then they they worked it out. You know, and more more zeros were added to the paychecks of somebody. And they're like, no, he's back. <laughs> we figured it out. Um, and then there's some other stuff like they they're working in conjunction with like making Morpheus and making um, the Sinister Sinister Six movie. But those are still Sony um, properties. Like it still owns it's still owned by Sony. Hmm. But they uh, I don't know. Like they're able. They, they they make adjustments when necessary. Like some of the stuff, like, cause I got to see Morpheus now because I don't know, some of the stuff doesn't make sense to me. Um, like when you watch the trailer, like obviously everything's out of context in trailers. Like they, they cut and chop it out if they want to. Um, and they can always do the Marvel thing where they they CG certain stuff in and out. Like um, what they did with Endgame or they did with obviously um, some some leaked um, trailers for the Spider-Man movie. You can see like that there's something supposed to be in this frame. <laughs> like you see he you see um uh oh man what's the lizard the, the doctor's name i forget but you see him getting getting hit in the head you're just like what hit him <laughs> they cg something out um so but in the morpheus trailer that they show vulture in they also show a poster of spider-man but it's a like the the spider-man costume was a different spider-man so you're like, but how is Vulture there? But this is a different Spider-Man. So I, who knows where it's going? I don't know. It's, just, it's weirdness. As long as they make a good product and put it out, I don't care who's making money on the back end. I, I don't I, know. I know like, so I know I'm going to go see it. Yeah, yeah. I know you're taking my money when I buy these tickets. Right. So like, give me, I'm going to go me. see it. But I'm, I'm not interested in uh, Morpheus at all. I just need to see it because like they got me forever. Like I need to see how it ties into everything else, right? Like I can't miss the ties tie-in, but I'm not interested in that character at all. I mean, I, I watched the trailer again and I wasn't too thrilled with it. I was like, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I think I'm where you are, right? Like this yeah. doesn't really interest me and I never paid attention to it growing up. You know what I mean? Right. So, like, right. Yeah, but when, I, they, I, when they had him walk past uh, Michael Keaton, I'm like, damn it, <laughs> I gotta go see it. Like it's probably, it might just be a cameo. Like who knows? Um, but now it's, it's, it's part of the, the MCU. So I, I must go, I must go watch it now. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, 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 uh, Marvel will get my money whatever, with whatever they put out. I mean, I will yeah. more than likely, I'll see it somewhere, whether it be that I, uh, well, you said it's a Sony property for the Morpheus. So it's a Sony property. So I might not yeah, Sony's. it won't show up on Disney plus then so no so uh you can't even watch the other spider-mans on disney plus because they're they're sony flicks yeah yeah they were on uh what did i watch them on hulu or something yeah watching them. yeah yeah and they pulled the old ones so if you try to watch um the originals i had the vpn through the netherlands to watch the first toby Maguire and the first um andrew garfield spider-man because they they pulled them off of um netflix here because they're like new Spider-Man movie coming out, the the old ones now cost four ninety five. Mm. <laughs> You're like, what? Mm. It's just free. Mm. Same thing with Die Hard every year. Like every year, I'm saying I need to watch this movie before it becomes a rental. Same thing with Elf, uh, Home Alone. Like they just like mm, yesterday's price is not today's price. <laughs> they hit you with the Chappelle show. That's the new price. Yeah. Pull, pull the shirts up. Yeah. 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 They're like they, they know what they're doing they know what they're doing but um yeah man i'm super super excited i'm, I'm telling you you're gonna love this movie hopefully you get to go see it um soon uh, uh, we'll see I, I might i might try to make it happen tomorrow we'll see um i gotta get i gotta get somebody to watch the young and know if i do it so we'll right no i i get that yeah i get that i, I was sp specifically told to watch it before i came home <laughs> they're like mm, florida not doing so hot uh, we ain't going to the theater with you. So you can watch it by yourself here or you can watch it with your friends there. So I was like, all right, I'll go watch it with, with my uh, my shop. Yeah. Yeah. So I was tempted to watch it again uh, today. I was like, I should go again. What? But, yeah. But I was like, mm. yeah, I was like, mm. I, I kind of, I've only done that with Black Panther. I watched it two days in a row. 
And I was like, mm. like, at least for that one, I didn't have to pre pre buy tickets and all that stuff. Like I would have to go find out they still had pre pre tickets to purchase the following day and then stand outside so I can get a good seat. I was like, I ain't doing all that. <laughs> so, but I think, I think that pretty much does it for this episode. Uh, I have been studying some cloud. I have, I'm not ready to take that, that cert though. Uh, about halfway through the, the training course. So I'm going to try to watch it on the, uh, the plane ride, see how far I can get through it, if I can download some of it offline, but I'm pretty much going to unplug for the holidays. So if I, if I get through it good, if I don't, then I'll pick it up after the holiday. It's family time now, man. You know, that's, that's, yeah. that's what you need to be doing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I'm definitely interested. I'm learning a lot of a lot of cool things, like how Oracle Cloud works. I even know it was a thing until this month when it uh, it went up for free. So I at least have to get through the material. I don't know if I'll take the the, the test in time or whatever, but I will get the material under my belt. Um, but yeah, I, I'm enjoying it and looking forward to moving over to Azure uh, come the new year. That'll be my my next goal. Okay. Yeah, I've been doing no studying. I've <laughs> I'm just like I don't want to look at it. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I mean, sometimes you gotta let your brain rest, but uh, you got a game plan going in, so you you know you know you know you know now what you didn't know before. Right, right. I know what I'm looking for. Right. So yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's what's up. But okay, uh, what in this episode? Appreciate uh, you uh, you making it, Shannon. Uh, definitely uh, appreciate you and Levon making it. Uh, uh all the time uh like we this has been a year-long experiment I, i've definitely been enjoying myself um for all of you guys listening uh we definitely have improved i don't care what you say <laughs> i'm not I'm not taking your feedback if it's negative now i'm just playing um uh i think i think we're a, a shorter more concise and um just need to get the word out so definitely share with your friends your nerdy friends the um get them to like share subscribe again monday and tuesday are our topics um wednesday is our discussion we have a really good discussion this week uh thursday is typically ask us his p so that's when i talk to people who are trying to get into uh, cybersecurity. and then fridays we do this we're talking about everything else well, when we can right i don't want to spoil anything go watch spider-man <laughs> before the internet ruins it for you um Wait, we, we try to, you know, talk about everything else on this episode. Uh, we call it the rundown. So continue to tune in. We're all now on six uh, audio platforms. Uh, Spotify, we are now audio and video. So we, we got into the program. So you can watch our, our beautiful faces on Spotify now. Uh, and then video is still on YouTube. <laughs> as Shannon strokes his beard over there. Uh, video is still on YouTube uh, as well as now I put it on LinkedIn. I just chop up the episodes. I don't typically put the rundown on LinkedIn. Because I, I, I try to focus just on the cyber on that platform because uh, it's, you know, supposed to be about uh, business. Um, but if you're a subscriber, you will get it every single uh, time it drops. So definitely tune in. Uh, and if you're not a subscriber, I don't want you to forget about us. So subscribe. So that way, when we pick back up on January 10th, you get the latest episode. So way you don't forget about us. So uh, do that greatly appreciate you so uh hit up the website www.theothersideofthefirewall.com it gets you to all of our social medias um also uh hit me up personally i'm at ry ry security guy that's r y r y security guy i'm on clubhouse twitter tiktok and linkedin there you go uh and <laughs> levon is at levon maynard on twitter and shannon we will get him an account we're gonna get you a burner account <laughs> <laughs> so you get on the, on the socials now channels really do the socials and whatnot um but you can see him here every week so there you go if you want to uh keep keep tabs on uh on mr tines over there but have a happy holiday have a a happy new year and we will see you mid-january stay safe stay secure <laughs>